good morning to our brothers and sisters at just the baptist church thank you for uh, inviting me to be with you this morning on your online service uh, for those of you who don't know me my name is paul and i lead uh, emmanuel church here in chichester hi everyone at cbc it's dan slatter here i'm one of the leaders at revelation family church hi my name is simpson charlton also known as simo to some or even many i'm from grace church and we have foresight chichester bognor midders and Haven, I'm one of the elders there. I also head up the worship team, and it's just a privilege to be joining you today just to share some of our challenges that we've had in lockdown, some of the blessings that we've seen God um, just bless us with, and also just um, things that you can uh, pray for us as a church. Well, Quite simply, probably the biggest challenge has been not being able to gather together in the way that we'd want to. Not being able to come together to worship, to encourage each other in our walk with God in the way that we normally do. And of course, we have gone online like many churches have, but that poses many challenges in itself, the technology. Engaging with those people who don't engage with technology. How do we still maintain a contact with them? How do we still f- encourage, nurture them and bring them into a sense of community? Um, some of the challenges, um, uh, well, initially, we've got to look at the whole thing within lockdown and say some of the biggest challenges was just to get into grips with the constant changes, not knowing what to do, not knowing what to plan. You know, you plan something and the next thing, it just, you know, thrown up in the air because of the regulations and that's been difficult to come to terms with um another thing that was quite hard was just meeting the needs of uh, the vulnerable the elderly just people just with j- just struggling with mental health and just as a church coming together and just 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 giving support in that in that area um, that's had its challenges but by the grace of god we've been able to just support and bring just comfort to those people another thing which many churches would have struggled with was just getting to grips with online oh my gosh it was tough you know just trying to work out you know from almost going from having services to instantly online like all of you we've had the most incredible challenges that we faced through this period of the pandemic uh, moving the church from something that did very little digitally onto some way that everything we do is digital has been a huge challenge it's been big financial challenges for us with our brand new building uh, it, it's it's been a stretch and people being ill as well uh, so the biggest challenges for us have been uh, maintaining community, maintaining family, uh, making sure that we don't leave anyone behind uh, and engaging with people however we can. And that has proven to be quite time consuming. It's proven to be quite difficult. Uh, and I'm sure we're not doing as good a job as perhaps we could be. In the midst of all that, as the prophet Isaiah challenges us to think, there has been some treasure in the dark places, some hidden treasure that we found. And and some of those things are in the way that we've read the Bible together. There's almost been this new air of creativity that's come out in listening to scripture together, which has been brilliant. Prayer, uh, we've had people gather around prayer in a way that we've never had before in a daily basis over the period of the lockdown, which has just been Uh, phenomenal and one of the other great things is just being seeing people care for each other in the most incredible and selfless way and not just for their friends and wider family within the church family here but also for their neighbours and friends beyond uh, which has just been incredibly inspiring to see. Uh, In what ways have you seen God at work in your church? Well to be honest probably the most uh, first and foremost way is God as really encouraging us to, in these difficult times, to continue to pursue and him uh, and to pray for our city. 
You know, these are really difficult times, not just for us as a church, but for the whole of our community and our nation. And God has been, I think, challenging us as a church to, to cry out for the city. And so we've been having organised prayer walks. We've been having 24 hours of prayer, praying for our city. We've been tasking people to, to uh, focus on areas in the city and to pray for them, to pray for businesses. And do you know what? I think we've started to see some of the fruits of that. Chichester is really busy, the city centre. I hope you've noticed that. Shops are starting to open in Chichester as well and that is really counter-cultural at the moment in our society with shops opening uh, and I think that's really encouraging for us as we cry out for our city we cry out for our communities those that suffer in business the schools that actually God seems to be moving in a way in Chichester that perhaps he isn't doing in other cities and towns around the UK uh, and so we're going to continue to pray uh, for our city. We're going to continue to pray for, for you guys and for all of the churches, for the schools, the businesses, the families, all of those things as God sort of really encourages us on this journey of prayer. We've seen God move in many ways. We've seen God bless our church through just being able to meet the needs of the elderly, the vulnerable, just people in need, and whether it be financial, uh, whether it just be mean just getting with people to pray. We've seen God bless people in that way. We've seen God bless people through online, you know, and um, we've seen us connecting with more people um, than we could have ever um, connected before and seeing God bless them. And just in the way that, you know, I've seen my own family just grow and getting closer to God and the way that I've seen people get closer to God through this time, through this pandemic, has been a real source of inspiration. Um, and that continues to happen. I'm seeing look, people get closer, you know, their devotional times just really pressing into God. And it's been, I'm hearing stories and just testimonies of how God's been moving even through this pandemic and we shouldn't be surprised. That's a really difficult question to answer because as I'm recording this today, the day after the government, government announced new uh, changes in the way we gather, the restrictions, and as yet we haven't actually been told what that impact will be for our churches, whether it means we have to put on hold any plans we have of coming together again. I think in terms of how to pray for us from here, just that we make the most of this situation Clearly, this isn't something the Lord has brought upon us, but we know that he works things to the good. And I just don't want to look back at this in two or three years time and think we've missed a whole load of possibilities. We've missed a whole load of opportunities. And then secondly, just around how we as a church manage getting our building open again. We have a lot of projects and charities across the community that, that use our building and want to use our building. And so there's a responsibility not just to try and regather the church, which we're desperate to do, but also uh, how we help all those other things that are our friends and connected with us. The thing that we can pray for with, with any degree of certainty is we, we can, you can pray for us that we would be able to continue to pursue the Lord Jesus through this, that no matter what ha whatever is happening, that God is still in control and that we must not lose sight of what he's trying to teach us in this time. Yes, it's painful. Yes, it's difficult for us. It's not how we want it to be, but the Lord is still on his throne. He has not abandoned us and he is wanting to teach us things in this time. Things that we can pray for, again, it's the ongoing situation with um, people just feeling vulnerable, people feeling just alone. Let's continue to lift them up um, within our churches. Let's continue to pray for the online. It's here to stay, you know, so we have to embrace that and let's continue to pray that we continue to have impact in our society, uh, amongst our church people, amongst our communities. You know, let's 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 make a positive impact in the areas that we that we need to and want to see God move. Let's let's pray that salvation springs up from the ground. Let's pray that lives are getting transformed. Let's pray that we see testimony after testimony of people just being healed, being saved. Also, let's pray for our government. Let's pray for our local government 
um, and our MPs, let's pray that God just is with them. Um, and let's pray that we are united as churches together in one, just to see God's kingdom come. It's been a pleasure, guys. Thank you, at CBC, for it allowing me to be part of your service this morning. Uh, I pray God's blessing to be upon you and, and, and your journey, uh, and especially that as you pursue uh, new leadership and what that means for you. God bless you this morning. We love you guys, we appreciate you, and we certainly, certainly appreciate your prayer for us. See you all soon. It's been so positive today to hear from our dear friends in local churches. Let's lift them up in prayer right now together. Lord, through the challenges of recent months, we thank you that you have been with your people. Your presence has been with us. How you have led uh, our friends in these local churches and guided them through the difficulties they have faced. Lord, we thank you for your guidance, your protection, your presence with them. Lord, we thank you for the energy and ideas you have brought. Lord, as they have sought to connect and stay connected with their church family and communities, especially those who might be neglected and left on the edges, facing loneliness and fear. Lord, we continue to pray that these connections might be maintained across all our church communities. Lord, that all those who need to be reached with help and support, those who need it most would continue to be reached. Help us, Lord, we pray. Lord, I thank you for the blessings we have heard about in this season. Despite so much church activity needing to move online, Lord, it's been a joy to hear about your people getting a new passion for you, a new passion for your word, reading the Bible together, spending time with you. And Lord, a renewed hunger and a passion to pray and pray together. Lord, pray for the difference that this will make. Lord, as they have prayed for each other, praying for the wider Chichester community as well. Lord, I pray that this spiritual hunger, this new hunger, it wouldn't fade, but it would grow and keep growing and it would bear fruit. Thank you for the unexpected joys and discoveries of this season. Looking ahead, Lord, we pray for your blessing. We pray, we pray that blessing, Lord, on Revelation Family Church on Grace Church, on Emmanuel Church, Lord, on St Pancras, St Paul's, the Cathedral, on the many, many churches in Chichester and the wider area. Pour your blessing down, we pray, Lord. We pray for grace, we pray for energy as we all continue to constantly navigate the changing guidelines almost from day to day. Lord, be with us in that challenge. We pray that we might use the opportunities that you have given us, opportunities we can take in this unique season. Lord, we pray a specific prayer for Revelation Family Church. Lord, they so need their building to get opening um, and thriving um, and all the people from the community able to use that building as they have been praying for and hoping and planning for. Lord, we pray and we stand with them in prayer that that might happen very soon. Give them wisdom, be with them, we pray. And Lord, we pray for our city, our council, our MP, Lord, the business community in our town. Lord, for your glory, we pray blessing. And finally, Lord, we pray for unity. May the Chichester church community be together in one heart and mind and spirit. Lord, may we shine for you. Lord, may we be one because we want to see your kingdom grow in our city. Amen. 
Amen.